Hello. Okay, so this is again the second part of key area five on the structure and function of capillaries, arteries, capillaries and veins. And this is about exchange of materials. So really we're focusing on the capillary. We're going to be using terms like tissue fluid and lymph in this. So if you're looking for help on that stuff, this is the video. Uh, for you. So again, a review from National 5. The blood contains plasma, red blood cells and white blood cells. That's what you learned in National 5. Red blood cells carry oxygen from the lungs to body cells. Oxygen moves through the capillary wall to cells. So that's something that you should have learned about in diffusion or something like that. Dissolved nutrients and carbon dioxide are carried in the plasma. Okay, so in terms of the composition of blood, we have to now know a little bit more about it. So in terms of the stuff that the blood is made up of. So for higher human, you need to know that blood is made up of quite a lot of things. You need to know the plasma, the red blood cells and the white blood cells. So the stuff that you knew at National 5. You also now need to know a bit about platelets different dissolved substances, which we'll touch on a few of them as we go, uh, proteins and amino acids, but generally all the kind of main things that we talk about in things in biology anyway. Okay, so blood plasma, to remind you, it's a yellow watery-ish fluid that carries other components of the blood. It is the liquid part of blood, okay? If we didn't have plasma, we'd have red blood cells and white blood cells and platelets clogging in our arteries constantly. So it's the actual fluid that carries the stuff. It can hold a certain amount of dissolved substances like carbon dioxide and glucose inside it as well. So that's the main way that those components are carried through your body is dissolved in plasma. In terms of tissue fluid, so when blood reaches a capillary at high pressure, so it's come down the artery, which is our, where our high pressure blood is found, this will cause some of the plasma in the blood to be pushed out through the wall of the capillary. So remember, they're only one cell thick, so they're really, really narrow. So it's really pretty easy enough for something to be pushed out through it. So some of the plasma is pushed out through the capillary wall uh, into the space basically beside the blood vessel, which is just different cell space. As soon as that plasma has been pushed through the capillary wall and it's now into that tissue space, it is now called tissue fluid. So although it's still technically the same thing, as soon as it's out of the blood vessel, it's got a new name. So it's no longer plasma, it's now tissue fluid. Now the tissue fluid didn't contain everything that the plasma did, some of this stuff is going to get left behind because it can't get out of the capillary. So tissue fluid, again, just new name for plasma, it contains oxygen, glucose and amino acid that the cell is going to need. OK, now what those are going to do, because they're a higher concentration in the tissue fluid and a lower concentration in the cells, they're going to diffuse into the cells that are bathed in this tissue fluid. Now, something to think about is if you've ever scraped your skin and the injury has been wet, but not bleeding is that is you exposing the tissue fluid. Essentially, that is that wet layer that is showing the idea cells are surrounded by this fluid. That's tissue fluid. AstroTurf burns are amazing for finding that stuff. Ugh. OK, uh, so the cells also are really high in CO2 and other waste products. So what they're going to do is they're going to use diffusion to get rid of those things into the tissue fluid. So basically what we're happening is a swap. Useful things go into the cell. Useless things come out of the cell into the tissue fluid. Okay, so here's a nice comparison table. This is very useful. It does often come up as a kind of exam question where it will say what kind of substances are found in blood plasma and not in tissue fluid. Um, so it's very useful to know this table. So blood plasma has all the things that we talked about. So oxygen, carbon dioxide, proteins, red blood cells and glucose, whereas tissue fluid. So as soon as it is now out of the, the actual blood vessel now into the tissue space, oxygen is still there, carbon dioxide is still there. Glucose is still there, but proteins and red blood cells are not there. So they cannot be found in tissue fluid. They are still inside the blood vessel because they have not managed to escape. Common exam question is name a substance found in plasma, not found in tissue fluid. The only substance there is protein. Red blood cells are not a substance. They're a thing, a structure, a cell type. OK, so the tissue fluid was in the cell area, but we need to get the tissue fluid back into the capillary so that we don't end up swelling up all our tissues and exploding like a balloon. Uh, so the tissue fluid that's collected waste in the carbon dioxide has to go back into the blood to get to the lungs to get rid of CO2, the liver to break down any waste products and the kidney to actually get those waste products out of your body. Most of the tissue fluid can be reabsorbed at the capillary at the low pressure venous end. So the end where the vein is is low pressure. A lot of the tissue fluid can be basically shoved back into the capillary at that end. Okay, so once you've got your tissue fluid, and some of it will make it back into the capillary, there is a small part of it, or sometimes a large part of it, doesn't necessarily manage to make it back into the capillary. And when that happens, uh, this excess tissue fluid, so the stuff that can't make it back in, 
is then collected by something called a lymph vessel. So you might have heard of things called lymph nodes. They're part of that big system that your lymph vessels kind of lead to. So as soon as it enters the lymph vessel, so it's been tissue fluid in the space, it's not made it back into the capillary, so it's been picked up by a lymph vessel. As soon as it's in the lymph vessel, it's now called lymph, so it's got another name. So it's got, basically it's the same thing three times. Mm -hmm. You've had plasma, you've had tissue fluid, now you've got lymph because it's in the lymph vessel. And the lymph vessel will then also return it to the cardiovascular system. So the lymph vessel basically travels, it goes all around your body, there's lots of different sites of it, but it will take the lymph and basically return it to near enough the heart. Mm -hmm. Just where it gets repressurized. So this is an overview of the tissue fluid stuff. This is something that people do struggle with. Remember, it's the same stuff pretty much, just three different names, and then it's just changing the concentrations of various stuff inside of it. So if it's called blood plasma, you're going to find it in the blood vessels, like the capillary. The contents, you can see them listed there. I'm not going to read them all out. Okay. Tissue fluid, you find that in the tissue space. So as soon as it's been squeezed out of the capillary, uh, its contents are slightly different. It's lost quite a few of them, but again, you can see them there. And then again, if the fluid is called lymph, you are finding it in the lymph vessels. So that's where the excess tissue fluid is picked up from. And that is going to contain those things around there. So generally waste product type, type stuff. OK, now that is it in terms of tissue fluid. That is also it in terms of arteries, capillaries and veins, a relatively painless key area. Again, what we'd recommend, lots of past paper practice, particularly ones showing pictures of the capillary and tissue beds where you're having to name it when it's tissue fluid or lymph or things like that. That's the best practice that we can recommend for this area. But it's quite a nice one, quite a nice, yeah. easy one to work through. Next ones. The next no, one's nice. the next one's oh the next one I like it's hard. It's, I it's really fun, like it, but, but it's a big one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see you then.